Hello everyone. Today, we would like to show you how to scan an object using Reality Scan. First of all, when choosing an object for your project, avoid objects with very harsh lighting, such as direct sunlight. Reflective materials such as ceramics, plastics, and wet surfaces that change the color of the material also do not yield a good result with photogrammetry. Our object for today is under the shade with very consistent lighting in all directions, which should give us an optimal result. When you fire up the app and open a project, you can start shooting right away. We would start by taking photos around the object in capture mode. As we are taking photos, we can see the positions of the photos in the AR view. We want to frame the object as close as possible, almost taking up the entire frame of the camera viewfinder. For larger objects, it is fine for the object to go over the frame as long as we take enough photos. Today, we're going to be utilizing Reality Scan's online features, such as point cloud quality visualization and preview mesh generation. The point cloud would appear after we take enough photos for alignment. For now, I'm just making sure that I have a somewhat general coverage of the object. One of the great online features of Reality Scan is being able to check the quality of my camera alignment while I'm scanning. Red areas need more coverage, yellow areas are not that bad, and green is good. The progress bar in the bottom shows us that the app is uploading photos and aligning images to update our point cloud. You would notice that the point cloud would most likely extend over objects that are not supposed to be in the scan. We can adjust the scan area that Reality Scan can focus on using the crop tool in the lower right. This is a very powerful AR tool, as I can clearly see by moving around the object that my reconstruction area is correct. Our goal when using the point cloud as a reference is to generate a fully green point cloud to achieve a model with a high level of detail. Right now, we can see that there are sections of the object with yellow and red point cloud colors, and spots that have no point cloud coverage at all. To fix this, we need to take additional photos of these highlighted areas. What I'm trying to do here is trying to take photos around the object at a lower angle. I'm also taking photos of the low coverage areas with my viewfinder as perpendicular as possible to the surface. Once again, our goal here is to generate a point cloud that is fully green for the highest quality model we can achieve. This model that shows a fully green point cloud is a type of result that I am happy with. Using preview mode, I can rotate and pinch to zoom in my model to inspect the coverage very carefully. I'm confident that this type of coverage would yield the best model using the app. One of the features of Reality Scan that we can utilize is requesting a mesh through the preview model. By clicking the Preview Model button, we can request a mesh so we can inspect the quality of the alignment even further. After the mesh is generated and downloaded, the model can be rotated and inspected again in Preview Mode with the generated mesh in our aligned model. We can also easily switch between Quality Mode and Color Mode by clicking on the button again. Now that we have successfully scanned an object using Capture Mode, aligned the model using the cloud features, and inspected the object in preview mode, we are now ready to export our 3D object to Sketchfab. If you've already connected your Sketchfab account when you first initialize Reality Scan, you can press Export to Sketchfab as the final step. Here's the finalized model in Sketchfab. We can now use Sketchfab's powerful features, such as the model viewer. We cannot wait to see your high quality scans using the Reality Scan app. Thank you for watching.